What's up everyone? Welcome to the unboxing and first look of the ZTE Citroen LTE by TrackFone, which is my current company right now. Because, as you guys should know, and if you did not know, uh, the LG Rebel here is activated right now on TrackPhone. Battery's low apparently, but yeah, I'm getting LTE service, and I have quite a few, um, you know, minutes and texts and data remaining. And I did add like a one gigabyte card, one gigabyte of data card. So now I have like 1.04 gigabytes of data, so I'm all set. So let's get started. Um, let's see. And if you didn't see, I do have a freaking bandaid around my finger because. I unboxed my new knife for you know this type of stuff it's pretty big uh, yesterday on Periscope I think and I freaking cut myself with it while trying to close it hopefully it I don't cut myself this time let's be careful check that out I cut myself on this so there's that one and I do also have a, a cheaper one dollar one this one has multiple things in it but that's not this video. What is today's video is the unboxing first look of this guy. So as you can see here, ZT Citroen Android uh, smartphone on the Verizon network because it is a CDMA V. They also had a GSM variant, but I just went with this one. And I got this at my local Kmart for, my, for the very low price of $19.99 for GLTE. Some specs on the front include a 4-inch touchscreen, so it is it is a downgrade from the Rebel, the Rebel having a 4.5 inch touchscreen. It runs Android 5.1 Lollipop, as so the LG Rebel. 5 megapixel rear camera with a 0.3 megapixel front camera and Wi-Fi ca capable. Upon opening the flap, we're greeted to the usual pickup plan on the left panel. And there's the Citroen itself on the right. 4G LTE, 4 inch touchscreen, Android 5.1 Lollipop, a 1.1 GHz quad core processor which I think is the same as the ZTE Midnight Pro and if you look here or maybe even on the front for that matter it looks like it has the same skin I think it's called a skin as on the ZTE Midnight Pro so there's that uh, Wi-Fi capable Bluetooth 4.1 access to over a million apps and more on Google Play supports 32 GB micro SD card GPS capabilities proximity sensor battery talk time up to 12 hours standby time up to seven days and internal memory eight gigabyte device only so without any further ado let's get to it and it's time for this guy to come in effect that was easy thank you knife god hopefully i don't cut myself i'm gonna try and fold it okay there there you go well, cool just like that And I know, um, stupid, um, stupid thing to say, but I've had this since, like, yesterday. I don't know why I decided to say that, but I did. Alright, there you go. Phone up in front. Matter of fact, let me move you again. There you go. Set our phone to the side like we always do. Here's our ZTE branded battery, which I'll get to in a minute. Here's our back cover. Here is our phone and feature guide. Here's our ZTE branded um, charger, wall wart. Sorry, I just said that wrong. Wall wart. As you can see, you can detach it and plug it into your computer if needed. If so, if you need to. And here's the USB cable. Standard micro USB stuff that we see everywhere. And on the back, it's just some, um, you know, start here guides and get to know tips and all that good stuff. Let's open up our battery really quick. See how many million hours it is. So I keep bumping the tripod. 1650. I don't know how well you can see there, but 1650. Let's take out our back cover now. The back cover has a really nice looking texture, which I find uh, quite nice. I don't know how well the camera's going to pick it up, but there is a screen protector over it. And it shows you how to open it, so let's go ahead and peel this off really quick. If I can freaking get a hold of it. 
Okay, there you go. There's the back cover, really nice looking. And let's set this to the side, set the battery to the side, and let's get our phone out. Okay, there's the ZT Citroen itself. Let's go ahead and pop it out. Okay, trying to figure out what I'm going to do here. Alright, here's the ZT Citroen itself. And upon first appearance, it might it looks a little cheap, but I have high expectations for this device. So let's go ahead and insert our battery. And while we're back here, uh, here's your slot for your, uh, it appears to be micro SIM card slot, or micro SIM, right there, and your SD card expansion. And there's a little protective thing over the camera. Let's go and peel that off like so. I'm sorry about that, I'm too close over here to my door. I just hit the um, spice rack that I have in my closet, so yeah and it says digital camera right underneath it uh, the actual camera I don't know how well the camera's gonna pick it up but there you go let's go ahead and pop on our back cover let me make sure it's all let me make sure it's all you know nice and st um, snug and all right there we go and before I go any further, i like to mention that sometime after Christmas, I'll probably be transitioning from the LG Rebel here to the Citroen. Just, well, just because why not? I can do the swap. TriPhone lets you swap devices, which is really cool. So, I just thought I'd throw that out there. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look around the phone first. There's a random sticker right here. Probably from the factory. It's a little weird. But before we actually, you know, power it on, let's take a look around the body of the phone. Up here we have your uh, earpiece, and I think behind this, um, um, you know, logo or sticker portion is our front-facing camera. Yeah, I had to check on the box. <laughs> I'm stupid. And we get your track phone branding right there, your four-inch touchscreen, and down here we have some unique buttons. Um, they all light up blue, which I've seen before. Your home button is actually a circle. You can actually see it. Whereas the back and recent apps button is hidden until uh, lit. On the left side here, we have nothing but your micro USB charging port right there. Bottom, we have a microphone over here. Right side, we have your, power, uh, your volume rockers up and down, which feel really nice. And at the top, we have our... Um, power on and off button which is very weird because most of my devices are on the side but feels really nice really tactile as well and our standard size 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and um, last but not least I did a little smudgy already on the back we have our 5 megapixel autofocus camera I'm assuming with an LED flash ZTE branding down or right there and your two notches for the speaker. All right, let's go ahead and do the good part, which is peeling off the screen protector. I I get this just to set the screen protector on. So, yeah. Boom. Let's stick that right there. Move it off to the side. And there we go. Let's go ahead and boot this guy up. Your usual ZTE powered by Android screen that we see. And it does have a notification light up here right by the camera as you just saw. And there's our camera. Don't know how well the camera is picking it up, but our camera is right up here to the right. So I'll just let it boot up here. That's an unusual jingle. And as you can see down here, there's your buttons. Uh, they um, they vibrate right now, as of right now. Oh great, here it goes again. But anyway guys, I will skip ahead, or I will do a jump cut, and I'll come back when it's all set up. Alright, we are back quite some time later, and the 
device has been set up so let's go ahead and unlock it here's the lock screen and if you hear any background noise noise I do apologize press and hold screen to unlock and here's the um, CT Citroen all booted up the screen looks decent at best it's not um, high quality I think it's like a TFT screen if I had to say anything it looks like it already has my uh, layout I usually put my power control here Google there and like music over that way so cool here's the app drawer really quick doesn't look like it has any blurware which is always a good thing and here's those buttons yet again home back and recent apps let's go ahead and check the storage really quick let me find it yeah see it looks it's pro it has the same you know um, overall look and feel as the midnight pro as you you know should know total space is 8 gigabyte but we get about 3 gigabytes exactly out of um, at, well of storage which is good for most people like me because I don't use a whole lot so and to confirm it's running Android 5.1 go to settings here go down as you can see here Android version 5.1.1 I don't see marshmallow coming to this device but time will tell so cool Sorry for that jump cut and the long pause at the end. I thought my mother uh, walked in here, but I don't think so. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed my unboxing and first look of the ZTE Citroen LTE. And I'll see you again in the next video.